Does cannabis affect blood pressure? Have you ever wondered how cannabis might influence blood pressure? Let's dive into this topic, especially in the context of pain management and patient-centered care. Cannabis, derived from the cannabis sativa plant, contains over 100 chemical compounds known as cannabinoids. The two most studied cannabinoids are tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, which is psychoactive, and cannabidiol, or CBD, which does not produce a high. Both of these compounds interact with the body's endocannabinoid system, affecting various bodily functions, including cardiovascular health. When cannabis is used, it can lead to immediate changes in cardiovascular metrics. THC can cause a short-term increase in heart rate and blood pressure due to its activation of the sympathetic nervous system. This effect is dose-dependent, meaning that higher doses of T HC can lead to greater increases in heart rate and blood pressure. After this initial spike, blood pressure may drop, which can sometimes result in orthostatic hypotension. This is a sudden drop in blood pressure that can occur when someone stands up quickly. Looking at the long-term effects, especially with smoking cannabis, there are serious cardiovascular risks to consider. Long-term use has been linked to an increased likelihood of heart attack and stroke. This is partly because smoking cannabis can lead to similar risks as smoking tobacco, such as increased inflammation and oxidative stress in the cardiovascular system. However, the relationship between cannabis use and cardiovascular health is complex. Some studies suggest potential benefits for certain populations, which we will explore next. Interestingly, some research indicates that cannabis might help lower blood pressure in specific groups, such as older adults. This could be due to its ability to alleviate pain and stress, both of which are factors that can influence blood pressure. Additionally, CBD has shown promise in preclinical studies for inducing relaxation of blood vessels, which may help lower blood pressure. In the realm of pain management, cannabis is sometimes considered for its pain-relieving properties. However, its impact on blood pressure needs careful evaluation, particularly for patients with hypertension or other cardiovascular risk factors. It is crucial for patients to consult with healthcare professionals before using cannabis. The effects can vary widely based on individual health, the type of cannabis used, and the method of consumption. Monitoring for potential interactions with other medications, especially those for blood pressure management, is also important. In summary, Cannabis can indeed affect blood pressure, primarily through the immediate effects of THC. While there are potential benefits for certain groups, the overall consensus remains cautious due to the risks associated with long-term use. Personalized medical advice is essential to ensure safe and effective use in pain management. Always consult with a healthcare provider to discuss any concerns or questions you may have about cannabis and its effects on your health.